I said heat the egg into this bowl. That's actually sensational. Sensational. High five. Hello everyone. How are we all? Sorry, just you met my shoulder. Why? We'll be really warm. Oh, we'll make an ice cream. No, we won't. Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and we have some exciting news. We're starting our own ice cream business. Mm. <laughs> we have some exciting news. If you started an ice cream business, what would you call it? Oh, there's a really good name at home. It's called Lickety Split. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I didn't need to think of one. Um, Archie's Ices, because my middle name's Archie Bold. What would you call it? Zara Licks. Zara's Licks. That's disgusting. I think that's quite nice. <laughs> we are starting our own ice cream business. However, the lovely folks over at Cuisine Art, oh god. Yeah. The lovely folks over at Cuisine Art have sent us an ice cream maker. Now, I don't know about you guys, but we absolutely love ice cream. And when they got in touch, I think they've seen us share a bit of ice cream flavors and different things on Instagram. They got in touch and said, would you like to make your home some homemade ice cream? I have made homemade ice cream once. It was nice, but it was just like a no turn churn one, so it wasn't really creamy, it was a bit like flaky. It just It was a no disrespect. Uh, if nothing else is in, I need a bit of a treat. I'll have it. Yeah. However, yeah. I deserve more. It <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you're having a salad for lunch, but you really want a cheeseburger. This is the real shebang. It, I will leave it linked down below. I'm going to unbox it so you can see it. But we've got a full recipe, so we're going to be making salted caramel crunchy ice cream which if you aren't from the uk a crunchy is honeycomb coated in chocolate and i love crunchies same so i feel like you have to stop a crunchy yeah like they're they're delicious we went to poundland yesterday and got some little um perspex tubs with some lids so plenty should fit in these and then obviously we're just going to pop it in the freezer and we've got ice cream at our disposal so um, i'll leave the recipe that we're going to use linked down below i haven't tried it before so if it goes wrong what are you going to say? Well, we're going to see it all unfold. Without further ado, let's make some ice cream. So this is the machine. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's slightly large. However, this is going to be kept in my bedroom. Um, and it's by, obviously, Cuisina. And it is this variant here. They also have a smaller one. I'll leave that link down below if you're um, struggling for space. It's the Ice 100 BCU. Um, so this is the paddle attachment that just pulls out. We're going to give all this a wash, don't worry. That's the lid. And then this is the little bucket. You see, just pull it out. So it's going to make a whole tub of ice cream that big, which is very exciting. So um, yeah, we've plugged it in. It's currently in standby mode, so it's going to turn it on. And then obviously you've got your timer here. The book actually includes loads of recipes as well, which is brilliant. So we're going to follow the one off of Google, but that's fab. It's just some basic options. We'll keep that in the drawer. These are all of your ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need 90 grams of like a light golden sugar. If you've got muscovado, that's perfect. Then you're also going to need 50 grams of butter. We're using salted butter just because it's salted caramel. 300 ml of semi-skim milk. Two free-range eggs. 65 grams of caster sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 300 mils of double cream, some sea salt flakes, and then these, which are crunchy bars. So these are what we were talking about earlier, and Zara's kindly doing the honors of taste testing them, just for a quality control check, right? And how are they? Okay, so in a pan, we're gonna do the light brown sugar, which is 90 grams. We need 50 grams of unsalted butter. Okay. And then we're just, yeah, and then we're just gonna, that might be a bit much. Not okay. perfect, and then we're gonna melt that until it's all nice and golden brown. Okay, so the butter is melted with the light brown sugar, and that's looking nice and thick. You can take it darker if you'd like, but I think that's absolutely perfect. So this is 300 mils of semi-skim milk. I've just warmed this up in the microwave and it just needs to go straight in. So into this bowl, I was gonna crack in two eggs. I haven't cracked eggs in quite some time. <laughs> oh, you're doing it one-handed? That's brave. No shell, well Actually. done. I'm just going to beat this together until it's nice and airy. So now what we're going to do, while I'm whisking constantly, Zara's just going to have a steady flow of the milk going into the egg mixture. Now this is warm, so you've got to be really careful that it doesn't curdle, so we're just going to do it. Nice steady pour, not too much, but just keep on going. And I'm just going to whisk. Yep. So now what we're going to do is put a sieve on this pan. I'm going to pour it directly in, sieve it straight through, just in case there's any lumps or bumps in there. And then we're going to pop that back on the heat. And I'm going to use some of this organic Taylor and College uh, vanilla bean paste. We're going to use one teaspoon of this, which is the equivalent of one vanilla pod. So the custard is thick and beautifully, so we're going to pour it back into this bowl. So that last clip I just had, Zara made some terrible. gorgeous. Luke 
had instructed me, as per his wonderful teaching instructions, to curdle the egg. I said heat the egg. If you've never very made, unclear. you've never made a custard or a creme anglaise before, which I know you haven't. I haven't because I do other things. You don't want the custard to boil, otherwise it'll scramble the eggs. And we ended up with scrambled eggs. It's fine. I've remade it again, and I'm going to teach Zara why it's fine. So grab the spoon. So pop the spoon in the mix, mm -hmm. and then turn it over. Does that coat the back of a spoon? That was a limp coat, but yes. Exactly. So we need to pour that into this bowl to chill. Okay, so we just chilled the custard. No curdling this time. We've got a clean whisk, and what we're going to do... Zara whipped up some double cream here. Oh, so, did she? There we go. My arm. <laughs> so you can add this one into this one. Right, describe to me how. Just pour it in. Straight in. Mm -hmm. Quick. Straight in. No, it doesn't matter, because it's all cold now. So this is the caramel custard, which I've never had before, but it sounds wonderful. And then we're going to add some sea salt into this and whisk it all together and pop it in the machine. All right, Zara's just going to pour the cream into the machine. All of it? Mm -hmm, all of it. Now Zara's going to add in the crunchy. And then we're going to pop the lid on. We're going to do it for an hour and see how it is after that. Ah, this is so exciting! Should we start our own ice cream business? Zara's Licks. We'll work on that Zara name. Zara Licks Crunchy. <laughs> Leave me a comment down below what you think we should call our ice cream shop because well, Zara Licks is not happening. doesn't have anything original. Archie's Ices, I like that. So, the ice cream has had 40 minutes in total. I'm going to stop it for now. I think it's still just chilling it and the mortar's cooling it down. So let's take a look inside. <gasps> that looks so thick and creamy. Oh, oh, that's good, no? No. The ice cream that I like, it's got a horn, it's like and it's not your creamy. favourite, is like walls, like clotted cream kind of ice cream. That is like... Archibald Ice's pendant. I take it back. That is so good! So I was like, can we not just buy ice cream? Actually, do you know how quick it is to buy crunchy <laughs> ice cream? Four. It's three pound in Sainsbury's. Do you know what, actually, I reckon it's probably ready to go in the, um, the containers now, and then we can just... Chill it in the freezer. All right, that has made two tubs of salted caramel crunchy ice cream. So just gonna pop them in the freezer and have them after dinner. Sorry for the odd lighting. It's quite later on in the evening. We popped the ice cream in the freezer tubs and it's been chilling for around two hours? Yeah. Two and, two and a bit hours. So it looks like this. So we've got the nice gelato scoop here. So we're gonna scoop some out and then try it. We're gonna break some extra crunchy on top and put some chocolate sauce on because why not? <laughs> yours? Yes, so get your dirty mitts off of it. <laughs> and then I've got my nose. This was a little charity shop find. Oh, actually, this was from a restaurant clear out that me and you walk past. Right, we're going to try it on camera. Right, ready? Oh my god, this looks so good. That's actually sensational. So Luke's new job is to making make sure ice cream. that I have a bowl of ice cream every night. Oh my god, that's so damn good. Sensational. High five. I am going to get so much use out of that. Stay tuned if you want to see more ice cream videos because I've already said to Zara, I want to make a mint chocolate chip, I want to do a cherry bake roll, I want to do a strawberry cheesecake. Let me know if there's any flavours that you'd like to see. I will link the Cuisine Art ice cream machine in the description box below and the smaller version if that's more your style. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for being my ice cream oh, accomplice. Always, always. And um, let me know which name you prefer and pin a comment. Zara it Licks. will be me. Zara Licks or Archie's Ices. I think people would prefer to come to my ice cream shop than yours. I'm sure they would. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Lots of love. Bye for now.